Sunday, April 21st, Space Weather has an article today about Comet 12P, a.k.a. the Devil's Comet, can barely be seen. So it's the worst time to observe it because you got the evening sky and also the full moon. I, I covered this in my last video with the comet. They're saying in May, the comet will move away from the sun and into the night sky of the southern hemisphere. And we're starting already, starting to get some images from Australia yesterday so slowly as it moves south and it moves into the night sky away from the, the sun glare it'll be more visible in may and the closest approach it'll be in june 2nd 23 hours ago here on facebook comet watch Nefren Morales, I don't know what country, must be in the Central America or Southern America region, I don't know. But he took this image, we were able to get this, and you clearly see all the jets. Kind of resembles that image that we saw from the Book of Eden with the picture of the pyramids and uh, 10 jets, it looks like. That's the latest we get right the best we get right now, but in the next couple weeks, it'll get back back to taking images that will be more clear for the netherlands site this is where it is today perihelium on the 21st right before the beginning of passover jerusalem so 3.7 and that's where it is right now the closest to the sun and that's the, the magnitude we have it from so from here on for it it'll peak a little bit more and then it'll start going downward i got the latest 3.5 the comet is now in the taurus constellation taurus and so is uranus and jupiter in conjunction in taurus right by the seven sisters Pleiades star system which is in taurus there's a lot of a lot of story a lot of mythology a lot of facts myth about the constellation history about taurus so looking at the 3D from the sky. That's where it's at. Closest to the sun. In the constellation guide, Taurus constellation has a lot of information here about Taurus, about the Palladius, the home of Palladius, seven sisters, and Hydrid, the two nearest open star clusters to Earth. 